Most High, Omnipotent, Good Lord, grant your people grace to renounce gladly the vanities of this world, that following the way of Blessed Francis, we may, for love of you, delight in your whole creation with perfectness of joy through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Commemorating St. Francis is about more than just blessing our beloved pets once a year. It is about radical conversion, about recognizing self in relationship to others, to creation, and to God. It is the understanding that all of creation, every weed, every creature, every molecule, every human, is a precious blessing from God. Bonaventure described Francis as raised in vanity amid the vain sons of men, yet he became a beggar for the sake of the gospel. This became his greatest desire, stripping himself of the burdens of material things, disowning all that owned or distracted him. He sought to desire God's will only. The artwork or statues of him with a bird on his shoulder or the little animals at his feet would be much more descriptive if these showed him touching the untouchable and kissing the unkissable. In his conversion from rich son to lover of all creation, Francis did three things. First, he stripped naked. He let go of all things worldly to become obedient to God alone. He emptied himself of self. Secondly, he heard the voice of God from the cross telling him to repair the church not the physical buildings, but the church for which Christ gave his life. And he desired to embrace the leper, to touch that which he had deemed untouchable. Seeing a man whose face was disfigured by leprosy, his initial reaction was repulsion. Yet he knew that Christ would have greeted the man in love. So Francis jumped from his horse to embrace the man and kissed his wounds. He wanted to embrace the leper within himself, to acknowledge all things that kept him from God. This became a metaphor for Francis' relationship with all of creation. This spirituality led Francis to a deep desire for God. This yearning brought him to radical change. The voice that Francis heard said to him, Francis, go and repair my house, which as thou seest is falling utterly into ruin. That voice continues to speak today to alert us that the church which Christ purchased with his blood continues to be in need, to remind us that those who are poor will always be with us. Are we listening for that voice, for that opportunity? Francis' task is done. May Christ teach us to do ours. Amen.